Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the new Notepad app update in Windows 11 and the Canary and Dev channels of the Windows Insider program. Well, the Notepad app is getting some nice improvements, in my opinion. In this video, we're going to talk about those. I'm not going to be able to showcase all the features live because they're not completely rolled out to all users. But of course, I'm going to show you screenshots whenever it's needed. First of all, in the Notepad app, I have it here. We have a new settings section and new animations. If we click on the settings button, you're going to notice these new animations. And I think they are pretty cool. And I'm also going to full screen this. So you can see now the settings section is basically categorized into three different sections, but soon enough it will be categorized into more sections because there are a few more features that we're going to talk about. We have appearance, of course, where you can change the app theme, text formatting, font, word wrap, opening notepad, opening files, basically lets you select open in a new tab or open a new window. Also, when a notepad starts, you have to select if you want to open the content from the previous session or open a new window. And basically, this should be the case in notepad 11.2402, 18.0. And if you have this version installed on the Canary and Dev channels, you could also notice some new features such as spell check and auto correct. I think that's pretty interesting. You're going to have here a screenshot from the official Microsoft blog where you can see if you have a word that is not written correctly inside notepad, that word will be underlined with a red line. And if you hover over it, you're going to have some options to select which word you want to convert it to. Of course, you're going to receive correct versions of that word. And also in some cases, auto correct, if it's enabled, will automatically correct a word if there are not multiple variants to that word. You can also click on that word if it's not written correctly, or you can use the keyboard combination shift plus F10 to see what choices you have depending on the word that you used. And what's interesting about it, if there are certain words that maybe notepad doesn't have in the dictionary and um, maybe words written in another language, you can add them to the dictionary or just ignore the misspelled wordings because maybe you are writing in a different language. So as far as I know, this feature will only be available for English, at least at the beginning. As I've said, unfortunately, not everyone will have it. I think a very small number of users has it. So that's why I'm showing you some screenshots. Also, one thing that you need to note is that some file types have these features automatically enabled and some file types don't have them. For example, log files or files associated with coding don't have these features. I'm talking about the spell check and autocorrect enabled. And here you can see some screenshots from Phantom Motion 3 of how the new settings of Notepad will look. Basically with those two settings, spell check and autocorrect, you can enable or disable them. And when it comes to spell check, you're going to be able to select certain file types if you don't want them. For example, you can turn off a file type, but leave every other file type turned on. So I think these are some features that are pretty interesting in Notepad because for me, at least I'm not using Microsoft Office. So whenever I have to type something, maybe a short draft, I just use Notepad. It's good to see that Microsoft is introducing spell check and autocorrect. And hopefully these features will be received well by users and hopefully Microsoft implemented them pretty well. So we don't encounter any weird bugs. So basically this is the new Notepad update with the new settings, new features, spell check, autocorrect. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.